You bitches back to do another motherfucking makeup video, bitch. Yeah, I know, bitch. Y'all motherfuckers have been waiting for this shit for a good minute and a half, bitch. If y'all have not seen my last video, y'all need to make sure to see that because I know a lot of y'all have also, in addition to waiting for some more makeup review videos, have also been wanting me to do a get ready with me video and your girl done did that shit and guess what, look. This bitch ain't done that shit in probably several years on this channel. So if you want to see one of my favorite makeup looks, I will leave the link down below or annotate it all up and through here so y'all can check it out and see what the fuck I do to my motherfucking face, okay? <laughs> that being said, your girl's back to doing some makeup review videos and look, I got several brand fucking new products to try the fuck out. Y'all know I've been trying out a whole hell of a lot of products, but I've been the most excited about the new foundations that have been coming out as of late. This one in particular has been getting a whole hell of a lot of hype. Another thing that I'm excited about with this particular foundation is the fact that this shit is matte than a motherfucker. And y'all know I love a matte beat as fuck ass face, okay? And being that there's a little bit left of the summertime, this still is going to work out pretty well if this foundation works out, generally speaking, okay? For the remaining part of the summertime and early part of fall when it's still a little muggy outside or whatever the fuck, this is also going to be a foundation that is wonderful, supposedly, okay? For oilier skin complexion, okay? Because this is supposed to help with controlling said oil. This is also a oil-free product, and that is this motherfucker right here, BAM! The Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. Y'all have been on my tail like, bitch, if you don't get your motherfucking hands on this motherfucking foundation, and bitch, y'all know I listen to what the fuck you tell me to do, and all of your requests are always taken into consideration, okay? So I had to make sure to get my hands on this motherfucker, okay? Real quick, like, before I go into this entire review for this motherfucker, because this is gonna be a first impression. I have not tried this product out yet, okay? We're gonna see how this goes throughout this entire video. I should let y'all know, if you hear a little bit of shit in the background, it's the damn fan, because we need Freon in our motherfucking AC, so my pregnant as fuck ass is doing this under about five or six different lights, okay? All up in my motherfucking, you know, face and shit, and I got the fan over here off to the side giving me a little bit of air so I don't pass out and shit, you know, because these motherfucking babies are already cooking in my stomach and they make a bitch hot, so if you hear a little bit of that in the background, I don't know if the music's gonna cover it up, but I'm just kind of giving you a heads up. That's what's in the background, I just, I'm waiting on the service guy to come too, so we gonna get that all figured out. And one more thing, while you here, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, okay? Because we're back to doing makeup review videos, bitch. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm sure you can tell by the motherfucking intro that we have a whole hell of a lot of fun around up and through here. So you may want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become part of the fam, bam, become part of the family and shit. And if you want to check out my daily vlogs on our pregnancy journey, and you'll be able to literally see just how big this belly has gotten, because I haven't shown y'all here yet. If you want to see, you'll be able to check that out on my vlog channel, which is the Socialite Life TV. For those of you guys who are not familiar, so I will leave the link for that somewhere on the screen as well as down below. But if you want to follow our daily vlogs and this whole pregnancy journey, because we're having twins, go ahead and hit up my vlog channel, the Social Life TV. So back to this bad boy right here. So this is a brand spanking new product. This literally just came out not even just a few weeks ago. It was actually available on the Urban Decay site at first. I actually got it when it first came out before it was even available in the style. That would be Sephora, okay? So if you guys are really liking this product at the end of this video or whatever the fuck, y'all need to go ahead and get it at Sephora and use Ebates down below if you haven't signed up for Ebates, go ahead and do that shit, okay? Because it'll save you some coin on this product because this bad boy is $40, okay? So Sephora right now, literally, as I'm shooting this video, is doing 8% cash back on everything you purchase at Sephora, not just this product. So if you haven't signed up for Ebates yet, bitch, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and do that because you'll get 8% cash back off of whatever you purchase this product for, which I should let you know is $40, like I said. $40, okay? So 8% of that you're gonna get back, put back on your PayPal, account or your card or whatever whatever you want to put it back on okay so you'll save some coin that way okay so sign up for ebates if you sign up using my link down below you will also get a ten dollar gift card it is only if you use the link down below to go ahead and sign up for an ebates account so you can save yourself some coin not at just Sephora, but a whole hell of a lot of other stores okay so don't say i didn't tell your ass that shit because so many of y'all have loved it so far now the shade that i got is the deepest darkest shade which is 12.0 okay there are 24 shades total in this particular foundation, all right? It's supposed to be giving you a modern matte 
look, okay? And I don't know what the fuck that means as opposed to like a what, like a classic mat, or you know, an old school mat motherfucker, I don't know. But shit, it says modern matte finish, okay? It's supposed to be very long wearing, it's supposed to be very comfortable, comfortable enough to wear all day, okay? And uh, the all nighter part, if you have some things you need to do, like a little date night or some, you know, a little creep creep, you know what I'm saying? A little booty call, oh. it's supposed to be great for that too. And it's also supposed to absorb oils, okay? Pay attention, for those of you guys who have oil your skin this may or may not be the product for you and of course it's full coverage so for those of us who might have hyperpigmentation acne scarring etc etc this may also work out so let's go ahead and check out said packaging okay I've seen some of the uh, the photos of it already damn my motherfucker broke and shit when I okay urban decay what's going on let me go ahead and put it back it's the bottom of the bottle you know I poured it out <laughs> So here is what the bottle looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love when packaging is adorable, but shit, it don't make no damn difference if the shit don't work, okay? It does feature a pump, okay? And this particular foundation, from what I've seen of reviews, just generally speaking, I haven't seen any YouTube reviews, but just from reading up on this particular product, it seems very similar to the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. So I am gonna show you guys a side-by-side -side of both of these on my hand, just so you guys can kind of see the consistency, the coloring, etc., etc. Another thing that I'm noticing just from when I selected my shade is that this is very similar to selecting my shade in Kat Von D. Now, you guys know I did a review first impressions on this product here so if you guys want to check it out i'll annotate it on the screen and i'll also leave it down below i give you a full-on first impressions full demo of this exact product okay including the color that i got it in which is i believe 172 if i'm not mistaken if i'm not mistaken bitch it's 72 okay 72 not 172 d72 all right so i will leave the video link down below so you guys can check that out and you guys will see what i'm talking about but it seems very similar in regards to trying to find the shade that worked best for me. So that's why I went with the darkest shade. Y'all know how this motherfucker made me for those of you guys who remember this video, bitch. I, I'm not even gonna tell y'all. Just watch the video and y'all see what I'm talking about. So what I'm hoping is that this doesn't do the same motherfucking thing. Something else that I've also read is that you should probably shake this bad boy because it's one of those airless pumps so you kind of have to work the product into the, into the pipe. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little shaking action, okay? <laughs> Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your titties. Hey, shake your titties. Ay! Okay, that hit, that hurts like a motherfucker shit. But just bring nipples to sense too. Let me go ahead and show you what the product looks like on my hand. There's that right there. Let me go ahead and pump the Kat Von D right next to it and we're gonna compare consistencies. The top one is the Urban Decay and the bottom one is the Kat Von D, okay? Let me go ahead and just kind of switch it. Oh yeah. Okay, so the Urban Decay is a very moussey feeling product. That's literally the first word that comes to mind, okay? So that's kind of it. <laughs> spread, you know, spread out <laughs> like some legs. <laughs> okay. Let me give you, let me show you. So, of course, the Kat Von D is redder, okay? But as you guys can see, the difference between the two. This right here is a Sonia Kashik. You haven't heard me talk about that in a while. Flat Top Kabuki, because all my other brushes are dirty. So I wanted to make sure that I stayed true to what I would normally use for a liquid foundation. So that's that right there. That's what it looks like. And let's go ahead and put it on the face. Bam. Okay, okay. Not too bad. I do have a little bit of color from the summer. It is a little orangey from what I can see. So we're going to see what it looks like as I kind of spread it over my face. But that's what it looks like so far. No scent at all, actually. Like zero scent to this foundation. Yeah, shit. This motherfucker is. Ooh, shit. Motherfucker's orange. You may not be able to see it real well, but it's super, super, super orange. And if I didn't have this color on my skin from just being in the sun this summer a little bit, it probably would look even worse. So just keep on moving. But so far, it seems very easy to spread on the face, to blend in. So far, it feels pretty comfortable. Like I said, no scent to it. That's what it looks like so far. Boom! So this is what my face looks like after just having applied it, okay? Didn't really let it have too much time to sit, but I can definitely tell that it's 
setting on my face. You can definitely feel that it's setting. And you guys know it promises a modern matte finish type of situation. So here's kind of what it looks like. So still feel like it's a little moist on my face. Like I said, I didn't give it an, a lot of time to set. What I can tell you though, just off the top when you're you know working it in, even though it's blendable, you gotta be careful to kind of keep moving with your, with your brush because it does start to set once you start applying it to the face. So it is definitely a full coverage foundation as well as it promises. <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and finished off the rest of my Dagon face, okay? And I used my usual powder to set my face, as you guys already know. And uh, look, your girl did a little something, something, something. I already got a few thoughts on the foundation so far. Just a couple of quick things that I noticed as I was beating the rest of my face, okay? All product links are down below if you guys want to check them out. However, I did want to let y'all know that I am using another Urban Decay product today on my face. And that would be the lip that I'm wearing on my lips. Okay, all on the DSLs, bitch. <laughs> I am wearing one of the newer Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. Okay, now if you guys are not familiar, there are a hundred damn lip colors in these daggone lipsticks. In addition to the fact that there are six different finishes for these newer lipsticks, okay? So there is literally a color for everybody in that motherfucker and a finish for every single person, okay? So just giving you guys a heads up about that. I figured I would keep it kind of consistent as far as the product's concerned. Outside of that, you guys already know the deal. Your girl is trying this foundation and the lippy for the very first time, so I'm gonna rock this motherfucker all day, okay? And come back and let you guys know everything from the rooter to the motherfucking tuna, bitch about both the foundation and I'll also let you guys know about the lippy as well, okay? So take one last look at the face. I know what y'all motherfucking asses are gonna say in the comments. I already know we gonna talk about that at the end of the video, okay? But take one last look at the face before I go. Okay, and uh, I'll be back. Let go. Boom, I'm back, bitches. Y'all miss me. Okay, so here is my face after several hours of wear, okay? Look, it is hotter than Rihanna's motherfucking pussy with her damn legs closed up in this motherfucker. This bitch is about to melt shit. And look, it's hot outside too, and I've been out in the elements as well as in this hot as fuck ass house with this damn thick as fuck ass makeup on. So I'm finna give you a very thorough uh, first impressions of how this foundation went. I already know a couple of y'all are already gonna have something to say, okay? But we're gonna go into the pros of the foundation, okay, before my motherfucking ass melts some more. And then we're gonna go into the cons, okay? So let's go ahead and go into the pros of the foundation. First of all, y'all already know that this foundation boasts that it is a full coverage foundation, all right? I would most definitely say that is the case. Let me go ahead and come up a little closer so y'all can see just kind of how it looks after having worn this. I have literally been wearing this foundation for six and a half hours, okay? And typically that's about as long as it goes for as long as I'm a rock any foundation that I wear, okay? And so far, it seems to have stayed on. It's still full coverage, I still have blush, and everything else that I originally pretty much put on my face. That being said, another thing that this foundation boasts, okay, is the fact that this is supposed to be a long wearing foundation, which I absolutely agree with, as you guys can also see. I've had no problems with the foundation really going anywhere, per se. It's pretty much the same look, same full coverage feel after even wearing it as long as I have, okay? And I've had to pat my face many, many, many times today because I have literally perspired through this foundation. So I'll show you guys in a clip what this foundation looked like as I was going outside, even with perspiration on my face, so you guys can kind of know how it looked in the natural daylight, all right? So just wait for that clip here in just a little bit. All right, so now we gonna go into the cons, okay? First of all, you guys know that this particular foundation boasts that it is comfortable to wear on the face. I am kind of on the fence about that shit, and the reason for that is because it is a severely full coverage foundation, okay? It's kind of the in-between of the Kat Von D Locket foundation and probably the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place. You guys know Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place is one of my holy grail foundations. It is also very, very full coverage. It's not 
not as full coverage and as heavy feeling on the face as the Kat Von D foundation. So I would have to say it's kind of the, the, it's kind of like right before Kat Von D's and it's just a little bit heavier and heavier feeling on the face than the Estee Lauder Double Wear as far as how heavy it feels on your face. So I wouldn't say it's the most thick foundation in the world and the most uncomfortable, but I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable either. You are most definitely gonna feel that this shit is on your face, okay? Like I said, it sets rather quickly, so you're gonna wanna work pretty quickly, even though it blends very well, and that's another pro, but on the other side of things, it sets rather quickly, so you kinda have to work it in really quick before it completely sets. And don't even motherfucking think about building upon said foundation, okay? Don't do that shit with this motherfucker because I promise you, you will be cake face. This shit feels like you have foundation on your face after it sets, especially in more of the areas that you have a tendency to utilize more, like laugh lines and eye lines and things like that. You're gonna feel it in the areas of your face that you have a tendency to uh, use more, if that makes any sense. So as you're wearing it, you'll see what I'm talking about if you try to go ahead and get this motherfucker. The other thing that I'm sure y'all motherfuckers have been wanting to say the entire time of watching this video you all shit y'all probably already put that motherfucker down in the comments bitch that shit ain't your motherfucking shade and bitch you are damn right this is definitely not my shade one of the very first things that i remember seeing when i was kind of looking at some of the you know reviews and some doing a little bit of research on the foundation was that this motherfucker oxidizes i would absolutely agree sometimes foundations oxidize to darker finishes and some to lighter finishes i would have to say with this one because you guys saw how orange and red more orange it was on my face almost really kind of orangey to the effect of what Kat Von D did to me in that video that I, the first impressions video that I put up on this channel. Just look at that video and you'll see. This was super oopa loopa ish, okay? This was just right underneath that motherfucker and you saw how orange it was when I put it on my face. The minute it started to set, I started to notice I started to get kind of a white overcast on my skin, which that also led me to believe that even though this motherfucker doesn't say anything about having an SPF, you guys know foundations that typically have SPFs in it have a tendency to give a white overcast when you use flash photography hence the thumbnail you guys probably see on this motherfucking video because this motherfucker has so much flashback your ass looks like motherfucking Jasper the motherfucking ghost bitch and I don't mean Casper bitch look I'm a brown sister we gonna give that motherfucker some soul bitch Jasper the motherfucking ghost okay so this as you can probably tell, has lightened up on my face, even after having put blush, even after having used my mattifying powder, okay? Even after having done everything I normally do to my face to kind of bring some of that back down, you can still see that it is clearly not the color of my skin, and it's even lightened since I initially started to apply it. That is another problem with this foundation because yet again, this is the deepest, darkest shade. Now, for those of you guys who are just watching this that are brand spanking new to my channel or haven't been watching for a very long time, okay, I'm an NW45 in MAC, okay? So that's typically my color throughout the year, okay? I am a tad bit darker now, okay? But even with me being my normal, beautifully brown skin tone, ain't no way on God's green earth I'd be able to wear this because if it oxidizes even light, I mean, it's just, bitch, like I said, Jasper motherfucker. Jasper. Last but not least, and this is just something that, you know, I always check for, cause the bitch, you know, got facial hair, okay. And uh, uh, you know, every now and again, you guys, I get a little light stash, you know, on the upper brow, you know, a little upper lip hair, you know what I'm saying. And you know, I mean, it's not real heavy and shit, but bitch, this motherfucker makes it more pronounced. The minute I put this motherfucker on and it's set, I promise y'all on everything I love, this little bit of stash that I might have above my motherfucking lip, bitch, had me looking like I had motherfucking two o'clock shadow, bitch. I wasn't quite five o'clock yet, bitch, but I was like one o'clock, one thirty, two o'clock in the afternoon, bitch. That type of shadow, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looked like, first and foremost, since I haven't done it yet, what this foundation looked like right when I went outside in the natural daylight so you can see it for your damn self, okay? So it ain't bad, but it ain't good. It's not my favorite, you know what I'm saying? But you guys can see what it looks like in the natural daylight. You're also gonna notice here in the next clip, um, yeah, if I don't know if you can see it, hopefully I shot good enough video for that motherfucker, but I, do you see the two o'clock shadow? You see the motherfucker two o'clock shadow, bitch, okay? I wasn't trying to go to no five o'clock shadow, bitch, okay? So this is a foundation that because it is so thick, 
and because it is so mattifying for those of you guys who have drier complexions or have a tendency to have facial hair even the facial hair that I have like sideburns and whatnot that I have that are just baby hairs on my face it was sticking too okay so if you're someone who happens to be just a little bit hairy or for my wonderful men out there who wear makeup please be aware of the fact that that is going to be a huge possibility that it's going to stick to the hairs on your face and unless you are smooth as a motherfucking baby's bottom it could potentially be a problem for you so I wanted to make sure that I pointed that shit out so for those of you guys that are darker than me okay and or you might have gotten a little darker throughout the summertime all right or whatever the fuck the case may be even if you my skin tone bitch this shit's not gonna be for you and there are no other shades any deeper or darker than this so you will not find a color match for your shit because I promise you guys this motherfucker y'all saw it on my face I'm sure you guys commented I'm sure that's one of the first things you noticed right off the bat that this motherfucker oxidizes much lighter than how it appears when you first pump it out of the bottle so all in all y'all look this motherfucker is a $40 foundation okay I'm gonna leave the link down below so you can check out all the colors and see if it's something that you want to invest your hard-earned coin on okay in addition to the fact that if you are trying to get anything like this or even anything from Sephora at this time they're doing double cash back double motherfucking cash back okay so sign up for your ebates account down below if you haven't already and take advantage of that shit so you can get eight percent cash back for anything you purchase not just this but whatever the fuck you purchase on sephora and there's a whole bunch of other stoves that are doing eight percent cash back especially because it's back to school and all that kind of shit okay however would i purchase this motherfucker again or do i plan to return this my look i'm gonna take this shit all the way the fuck back from where the fuck i bought this shit from okay this is not worth the money to me. If I had to pick between the three foundations that I've shown you, the Kat Von D, this, and the Estee Lauder, I am always going to forever pick Estee Lauder, okay? First of all, it is cheaper. It has way more shades to choose from, especially for our beautifully brown skin tone, but generally speaking, has a lot more shades to choose from. It is a lot less expensive. It's more accessible, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, this motherfucker pretty and everything, but bitch, my ass ain't gonna be looking pretty with no two o'clock motherfucking shadow on my motherfucking face okay so this motherfucker <laughs> has to go okay look let me know down below what other foundations or lippies or whatever kind of makeup products you guys want me to do first impressions makeup reviews battle the brands or whatever the case with so holla at me down below let me know what you guys want to see in future videos from your girl a demo on this channel and I will make sure to do that okay so holla at your girl and you guys already know what to do. As always, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash social life Sandy. Hit me up on my Facebook fan page and my Pinterest page. Those links are down below. Hit me up on my blog, thesocialitelife.com, and hit me up on Instagram, Periscope, and Snapchat at socialite Sandy, S A N D E. And you already know I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.